Hello, welcome to the lesson on Sigfox for Internet of Things. Sigfox is the world's leading service provider for Internet of Things. What is Sigfox? Sigfox is an alternative to LoRa and NB-IoT. These are the long-range communication technologies. We learned LoRa and NB-IoT in the previous classes. So here Sigfox is an alternative to them. Sigfox is an inexpensive, reliable, low power solution to connect sensors and devices. Sigfox drastically brings down cost and also energy consumption required for securely connecting sensors and devices to the cloud. Sigfox gives a voice to the physical world and makes Internet of Things truly happen. The reality is that Small inexpensive objects simply don't have enough power to communicate with large mobile networks that is cellular networks. That is why Sigfox developed low power devices to the cloud connectivity to complement high bandwidth cellular network solution with a dedicated radio band networks. So what is the uniqueness of Sigfox technology? Sigfox technology uses low energy, extremely low energy consumption, allowing years of battery life so you can run your sensor node for more number of years. And also the electronic components available at low prices and low battery utilization, low solution, uh, you know, a deployment cost and low integration cost makes uh, Sigfox technology available at low prices and Sigfox technology is simple no need to configure connections and enables standard based device to cloud integration so you can easily integrate devices to the cloud that is the advantage of Sigfox means that everyone can easily connect Sigfox based devices to the cloud and the Sigfox technology is complementary technology. Why? Because the low cost and ease of configuration, you can also use Sigfox as a secondary solution to any other type of uh, network like Wi-Fi network or Bluetooth network or in place of GPRS technology, you can use Sigfox technology. What is technology used in Sigfox? Sigfox technology uses ultra narrow band for data transfer. Sigfox technology uses 200 kH of the publicly available and unlicensed bands to exchange radio messages over the air. So here we are using unlicensed spectrum that is the free spectrum no need to pay for the spectrum do remember LoRa also for LoRa also we are not going to pay uh, but for NB-IoT you have to pay uh, for the you know spectrum because we are using cellular network in uh, NB-IoT ok so I think you can remember them each message is 100 H wide and transferred at 100 to 600 bits per second data rate depending on the uh, region where we are operating our Sigfox uh, network so how Sigfox works this is very simple I will explain you how the messages in Sigfox will transfer from device to the cloud. So the first step, a device wakes up and emits a message using its radio antenna technology. There are multiple Sigfox base stations and these multiple Sigfox base stations in that particular area receive the message emitted from the uh, IoT device. The base stations then uh, sends the collected messages to the Sigfox cloud. And in the fourth step, Sigfox cloud sends the messages to the customer's backend platform. Maybe you are using AWS, Amazon Web Services platform, or you may be using IBM. So you can send the technology to uh, any cloud, all of you. It's that simple, right? These are the four steps how the data will be transferred from IoT devices to the cloud. So what is data rate in Sigfox? 
Sigfox network works with lightweight messages with a size of 12 bytes excluding payload headers. The maximum data rate supported in Sigfox is 100 bits per second. How long we can transfer data using Sigfox? How far we can transfer? Maximum what is the distance we can reach? So uh, we can use Sigfox to reach 10 kilometers range in urban areas and 40 kilometers range in rural areas. So what are the Sigfox applications? So like uh, LoRa and NB-IoT, we can use Sigfox for home and consumer go goods applications. We can use Sigfox for energy related communications like smart metering and also uh, you can use water for water metering and other applications as well. You can use Sigfox for healthcare, especially for M health applications to remotely monitor uh, patient's health. We can use uh, Sigfox technology and also we can use in transportation. So this can be uh, automatic management like tracking, uh, you know, uh, monitoring goods in the transportation and there are many other applications. And now today there are many uh, Sigfox products commercially available. So we can see here Sigfox product for example. This is a sensor data logger based on Sigfox to log sensor data. So and there are many uh, other examples uh, I am not showing here but you can find them. Thank you all and I hope all of you are able to understand what is Sigfox.